it's Pluto's. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Pluto's. I create dolls slash toy content at least once a week. So if you're new to that kind of stuff, stick around. Subscribe if you want to. Um, today I have some Pinky Cooper doll unboxings. I just came from a video. I literally just filmed a video, which was my doll purge video. So that's probably why you see me in the same outfit. But I thought I would film a separate video on this specific doll line that I started to want to collect. So I got into Pinky Cooper a while ago. I just never bought a doll because they were crazy expensive in my opinion. I just think they were a little overhyped, but I don't know. I've never owned one to give my honest opinion. But recently I found three dolls that I've been wanting for under $60, pretty much complete. So I'm pretty happy with these finds um, because they go for way more, especially new box. So, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just going to be showing you guys uh, the process of unboxing them, uh, um, fixing them up, my reaction, and setting them up in my collection. So let's get right into it. Oh, so here are all the packages. Um, I have three Cooper dolls. I'm going to start with the smallest one. I don't know which one this is, but I'm really excited. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is the one I wanted most. Okay. So I got this one, her pup is on the way. I found her pup separately for a really good deal. But I got this one for, I believe under 40, which is pretty good, I would say. Um, I know they probably like retailed for less back in 2010, but you know, for the time, for, you know, the price that the, the prices that they're sold now, I think I got it for a pretty good deal. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So this is my first Pinky Cooper doll. And she's so cute. She does need TLC, of course. I mean, for the price I bought her, I'm not surprised her hair is a little, like, it needs a wash. But so here she is. She's so cute. Um, she has this little hat on. I guess this one's from Paris, I believe. Um, I know they don't have a lot of points of articulation, just in the elbow. And I think clicks in the knees, was it? Yeah, clicks in the knees. So kind of like brats. Um, they're kind of the same size as a Bratz doll, and they have a really cool concept. So, I know Pinky Cooper came out, I believe, in the early 2010s, so they're not old, but they're not new, um, meaning you can't buy them in store anymore, and they're just really popular, and I just have noticed in the last two years they've been pretty popular. Um, so yeah, so here is, I forgot her name, I'll put it on the screen, but she's super cute. I love her screening, I got a good one. And she has, I don't know, I love it. I think something that I also adore are their little dogs cause I don't know, I just like that. I like that so much. I like when like dolls come with little pets. It just makes everything so much like cuter. But yeah, so this is her. I'm super happy to have her. Um, I'm super excited to unbox the other two from this collection. So here's the other one. Oh my gosh, okay, I see her. I do want to find the dog first. Oh, I think they're all... This one also needs some TLC, but she's so cute i didn't think i would like this one as much as the other one but they're both very cute um i actually prefer the other one's face more but i really like this one's outfit i didn't think i would like it she has also articulated her feet are a little wobbly but they're not like monster high wobbly but they're also articulated at the knees and here is one of my favorite parts of this are literally the dogs. I don't know why. I think the dogs do it more for me than like the actual doll. I don't want to say that yet, but like, look how cute. Like they're actually so cute. I like that their eyes are like closed. And yeah, I, I don't know. I've always been like a, like I've always loved little pet shops. I've always liked little animals. So I've always been that type of girl growing up or that type of kid. So I really love this. I love this so much. I love that you can change their ears out. That's so cute. But yeah, I love this so much. These are the two. Oh my god, they match each other. I love I love this. Okay. Definitely getting more if I find 
more deals on these dolls. All right, last but not least, the last Kiki Cooper doll. I did get this one in box and I'm excited. Oh my gosh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, is it upside down? Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, here she is. Whoa, she's so cute in box. She's absolutely gorgeous. 10 out of 10. Love this box. I love anything pink. I want all of these, like, like outfits. <laughs> I really want her. She's so cute. I am getting the dogs in the mail. Two out of the three dogs, so which is also cute. Don't know if I'm going to unbox her, but I definitely will probably in the future because I do not want to like keep stuff in box oh my gosh you can take her out i didn't even notice i wonder how the hair feels like oh my god it's so soft oh that's probably how the hair is gonna feel like when i wash the other dolls so sleek look at the dog it's so cute i love the dog if they just released the dog themselves i would literally just buy those i know they released i believe these dogs themselves i'm getting like i said two out of the Two out of the three. But yeah, she's so cute. Um, I definitely, my overall thoughts is I definitely think that, you know, these dolls are really cool to have in your collection. I haven't seen any other dolls like these dolls. Like, literally, they're animal dolls. Like, that doesn't happen, you know? That doesn't really happen. So, I do recommend them. I don't like that some, like, if they're a little older, they're, maybe they're... I mean, it's not bad, but they're a little wobbly. I like the concept that you can, ooh, I like the concept that you can take out the wig and put it back into the hair or the head, sorry. Um, and I like that they came with fashion packs, I believe, which is cool. You can change them around. Um, definitely add these to your collection if you're looking for a variety of dolls or you're into, I love animals, so I love anything that's like animal related. And that's cute. So dolls that are animals, definitely. Um, at first, I thought they were kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie, but they grew on to me. Um, the more I watched like videos of them or saw them in other people's collections, I'm like, they're actually really cute. But I've always liked their pets. Their pets are so adorable. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend them. So far, um, I give this a 9 out of 10. Like I said, you don't see this concept every day. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm gonna go uh, restore them. I'll try to have some clips and show you guys them set up. Okay, so I'll just show how I did this. So pretty much I just got some shampoo and shampooed the hair, rinsed it out. So it really curls already like once you condition it. This still has conditioner in it. I have to take the conditioner out. But I brushed it through from the bottom to the top very gently. Then I curled the... Uh, to, like the way that it kind of naturally curls so once I brushed it I kind of just went like this with my fingers and it curled and now I'm gonna rinse it out and let them dry and I'll show you guys how they look on the dolls I'm gonna set. show a side to side comparison excuse the mess that's going on around here but I just put shampoo in this one but once you're done it should look like this it's super easy it literally took like two minutes for this one um part of the hair so wish me luck on this one <laughs> Okay, so here they are. They're so cute. Their hair is like about halfway dry right now. I just want to get this video out, so I thought I would show you guys the final look. I'm still waiting on some certain accessories like her dog, um, but I'm so happy to own them. I will probably be unboxing the one in the back. I just want to enjoy her in box for a bit, but they're so cute. 10 out of 10 recommend them. Um, definitely after like washing their hair um you just you just fall in love with the doll once you know the hair is fixed but um yeah she's so cute they're all so cute definitely recommend them my favorite one probably right now is this one and then my favorite dog is this one i just love the golden white so much but yeah that's that's pretty much it um thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video hopefully the next video will be my top 23 favorite dolls of 2023 and yeah so comment down below which is your favorite piggy cooper doll or just doll in general um i'll see you guys in the next one bye